Okay, a light of wavelength 580 nanometer is incident on a slit having a width of 0.3 millimeter. The viewing screen is 2 meter from the screen and from the slit. Find the width of the central right fringe. Okay, so which category this question belongs to? Yeah, is it about double slit, single slit, thin film, or diffraction grating? Ah, uh, so look for that first. Yeah, so this one is talking about a slit. Ah, uh, you see that a slit. Ah, uh, so this one is only one slit or single slit. Uh, this question about single slit. All right, okay. Uh, single slit. Uh, so it's not double slit. It's single slit. Now, uh, uh, information given is wavelength. Okay, he give us the wavelength, and this is the width of the width of the single slit, which is the A yeah? value A, and the screen is two meter away from the slit. So this is the big D. Uh, big D, yeah. So width of the central bright fringe. Uh, width of central bright fringe. So uh, this one we can say is, uh, yeah, this is a central bright fringe. We want to find the width of the central bright fringe. So which are in the notes I return there. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, two y one. Uh, the width of central maximum. Uh, this is what we want to find. The width of central maximum is a. Uh, uh, y1 plus y1 which is 2y1 okay so to find the width of central maximum we need to use the wall the wall beside the central maximum which is the first dark fringe or first minimum ah uh, so y1 is actually the position of position of first dark fringe uh, first dark fringe first dark fringe uh, beside the central maximum because just beside the central maximum is the first dark fringe already uh, so y1 is the uh, uh, position of the first dark fringe the wall okay uh, so uh, this is the equation to find the y1 okay the n mount, uh, substitute with one okay uh, lambda d over a so uh, as, as you can see uh, this is the one yeah uh, the, this is central bright fringe. You can see that the central bright fringe. So just beside the central bright fringe is the first order dark fringe. Ah, uh, n equal to one dark fringe. Yeah? first order dark fringe. Uh, and it has um, we know that it has no uh, zero order zero order bright fringe. Yeah? it only has it start all start from one. The order all start from one. You see that? So just beside the central bright fringe is the first order dark fringe. Okay. And then equation for uh, uh, bright fringe and dark fringe. Um, this is the one. Okay, we can consider the single slit diffraction. It's just like empty face. Uh, double slit is like in face. So last time uh, we use that. Uh, the, you see the formula is almost the same. M lambda d over d. Uh, this one is n lambda d over a. So between the double slit and single slit, they actually have similar formula. Similar formula, just they interchange the formula, uh, because one is considered in phase, another one is anti phase. Uh, so, uh, like double slit, uh, bright fringe, because double slit is considered in phase, considered in phase. So bright fringe use m lambda, but single slit uh, is considered anti phase. So instead of m lambda, it use m plus half lambda. Ah, it's just like from dark fringe here go to the bright fringe here. You see that? And the bright fringe here go to the dark fringe. Uh, so, uh, interchange of formula. Okay? Okay, first of all, I want you to write down the formula for single slit first. Yeah, before we continue. Because I always uh, like uh, to you to remember the formula before solving. Okay? Single slit diffraction. Uh, we can consider as... We can consider it as N... Uh, no. Is it as anti phase? You can consider it as anti phase. So, uh, when um, talking about, uh, okay, so uh, when talking about bright fringe, uh, okay, we, between bright fringe and dark fringe, okay, I want you to remember the formula. The bright fringe, uh, because anti phase, uh, anti phase, uh, we can say the delta L is 
N plus uh, for black fringe, black fringe anti phase, uh, black fringe. The delta L is the path difference is N plus half lambda. Okay. Uh, so the formula is Y N equal to N plus half lambda D over A. Uh, whereas for dark fringe, uh, for anti phase, it become N lambda D over A. Ah, uh, yeah. So anti phase for bright fringe, you, the it is n plus half lambda. Okay. For dark fringe, it is n lambda. Ah, uh, yeah. Go go back to uh, the all the the uh, the first thing I I told you about this one. You see that about the difference between in phase and anti phase. Uh, in phase, the bright fringe is n lambda. Okay. But for anti phase, the bright fringe become m m plus half lambda. Ah, okay. Empty phase, n plus half. The bright fringe become n plus half lambda. That's why, uh, that's why, uh, this one single slit is empty phase. The bright fringe, the bright fringe use because empty phase bright fringe use n plus half lambda. Okay, bright fringe use n plus half lambda. Uh, instead of m lambda, uh, dark fringe use n lambda. See that dark fringe use m lambda for empty phase, m lambda. So dark fringe use n lambda. So okay, I want you remember this one, yeah. Now talking about the width of central maximum, okay, width of central maximum, uh, where is it? Ah, okay, width of central maximum. So we use the the uh, wall beside the central maximum, which is the first dark fringe. Okay. Uh, so uh, I like to draw it out. Okay. Uh, this is what we observe on the screen. So we can see at the center that is a central central maximum. Okay, uh, this is the central uh, bright fringe, or we call it central maximum. Okay, just beside, just beside the central maximum, uh, you know, just beside the central maximum is the uh, first order dark fringe. Uh, okay, when you draw it, okay, ah, uh, so. Uh, yeah, so this is the one, okay, uh, uh, this, uh, this is considered the, uh, first order dark fringe, yeah, first order dark fringe, uh, and then remember the single slit, the order start from one, it doesn't start from zero because it doesn't have zero order, remember that, uh, where is it, ah, uh, see that? Uh, the for single slit, for for single slit diffraction. Uh, for single slit diffraction, uh, no matter it's bright fringe or dark fringe, the order all start from one. Order all start from one. You see that? Uh, if you look at the diagram here, there is no zero order at all. No zero order bright fringe. No zero order dark fringe. Yeah. No zero order bright fringe. No zero order dark fringe. All start from first dark fringe, first bright fringe. First dark fringe, first bright fringe. There's no zero order bright fringe, no zero order dark fringe. No zero order. All start from first order, first order. Ah, uh, yeah? So, the single slit order start from one. Ah, uh, okay? You start from one. So, actually, uh, just beside the central maximum, okay, it's not, this is central maximum, it's not zero order. Yeah? It's not zero order. So, just beside the central maximum is the first order dark fringe. Ah, uh, okay? Uh, I want to write it. Be, I write. I want you to write it beside the order of single slit is start from one first order, first and then go to second order and then go to third order and so on. There's no zero order. Yeah, uh, zero order not available. Remember that. Yeah, not available. Okay. So uh, we want to find okay we want to find the width of central maximum that is the uh, we need the y1 plus y1 okay uh, so this whole thing is the width lah. this whole thing is the width of central maximum so width of central maximum is equal to 2y1 percent uh, the position of the first order dark fringe okay uh, so so what we're going to which formula we're going to use? We're going to use the bright fringe or dark fringe. 
yeah since we need to find the you know the um we okay since we need to find the width of central maximum so we need the first order dark fringe uh so we're going to use the dark fringe formula okay dark fringe formula which is uh, this one which is this one okay going to use this formula okay, the dark fringe formula uh, so um dark fringe formula to find the y okay n lambda d over a empty face yeah empty face dark fringe is n lambda okay so the order uh so since this is the the first order dark fringe okay uh also the first dark fringe uh so uh the order here we need to put one lah yeah the order we need, it start from one isn't it it start from one uh, it start from n equal to one yeah, this one is n equal to 1. So, start from 1. So, this one n, we put 1. Understand? So, okay. Let's uh, uh, just put uh, the n equal to 1. Okay. Then, okay. Let's substitute uh, 2. Okay. Uh, so, this is... Uh, okay, let me... Okay. So, we use the formula n lambda d over a lah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we use the formula n lambda d over a. Okay, uh, so and then n we substitute 1. Okay, so uh, and n equals substitute 1. And then what is the lambda? Uh, what is the lambda? Okay, this one use the dark fringe formula. Lah. Use the dark fringe formula. Okay, uh, so lambda is... Uh, uh, 580 nanometer yeah substitute that one 580 nanometer which is exponent negative 9 uh, meter okay nanometer yeah and then d big d is a uh, two meter away two meter away from the slit and then the you know the uh, the slit width the slit width is 0 0.3 millimeter yeah 0 0.3 millimeter uh, okay 0 0.3 millimeter so milli milli uh, exponent negative 3 okay uh, then we calculate yeah let's calculate uh, the answer which is uh, 580 uh, exponent negative 9 580 exponent negative 9 multiply 2 divide by uh, 0 0.3 Exponent negative 3, uh, exponent negative 3, uh, 0 0.3 exponent negative 3, and then multiply 2. Okay, so the answer we get is uh, 7.73 exponent uh, negative 3, uh, 7.73 exponent negative 3 meter. Yeah, so that's the width of central maximum. Yeah, uh, yeah. or this exponent negative 3 is a uh, milli lah. Uh, milli. Yeah? Exponent negative 3 is milli. Okay, is that correct? The answer? Uh, 7.73 millimeter. Yeah, 7.73 millimeter. That's correct. Uh, okay. So, okay. That's it for these questions. I hope you understand uh, what's happening. Yeah? Okay, bye.